Welcome back. Mets bench coach Dave Jouse is in his first season with the team, but Jouse has been in professional baseball for 23 years. His coaching career actually started immediately after he graduated college. And get this, in 1987, Jerry Manuel was the man that hired Jouse for his first job in professional baseball. So today we go one-on-one -on -one with Dave Jouse. I'm here with Mets first year bench coach, Dave Jouse. Nice to have you. Welcome nice to Mets game. Weekly. My pleasure. So when you first started with the Mets this season, obviously there was a lot of talent on the team and some question marks. So what has it been like from your perspective? Well, every experience I have has been, been great because I get to go make my profession in something that I love to do. Uh, I like putting on a uniform and getting on this green grass and, and work with players and enjoy the seven o'clock game. With a, with a thrill and a passion. Um, so the ex expectation to me, being as, as far along in my career as possible, is, is almost similar every year. Now you actually have an interesting story because you actually never played. So you coached right out of college. At 21 years old, you were coaching and you've been coaching since. So what is that like to be a professional career coach? Well, I always start that a lot of people end their careers because of things like injury, or not getting the right opportunities, or you know, not being seen, or something along those lines. I was one of the rare exceptions that I, I stopped my playing career after college because of a complete lack of ability. There was no <laughs> other no other excuses. But because of that lack of ability, I, I believe I, I watched the game at a different uh, a different view even when I was playing it at that level. What has it been like so far for you coaching here in New York? The fans and this stadium here are, are tremendous in New York. This stadium is, is one of the best, if not the best. Um, and I've been all over now at every place. And uh, the, what, what the Wilpons and the organization here built this stadium uh, have really done great. And it's always a pleasure to play in a place that's great. And the fans are passionate. As, as much as they might get on us when we don't play correctly, which they should, um, their passion throughout the entire season this year, throughout each and every game, makes it a thrill to be here. You have had a myriad of coaching jobs. You've been a first base coach, you've been a scout, you're a bench coach. What is your favorite job? As long as I have a uniform on and I can give that paycheck to my wife <laughs> every two weeks, it doesn't matter what position I have. I like being in uniform. Choices and decisions that, that I make are very limited as a bench coach. The manager is the decision maker, and that's the way he should be. He has all sorts of advisors that give him advice. I am one of those advisors. So is Dan Worthen, so is Razor Shine, so is Chip Hale, so is Howard Johnson, and at times so is Carlos Beltran or Jeff Francoeur. And then he'll take those all those ideas, which I do when I've managed in winter ball or minor leagues or something like that, and then I make those decisions so that the information I pass on, I never regret it because it is, it is from good preparation, good ideas, I think a creative, intelligent mind, a lot of other people might not think it's too intelligent or creative, but I do. And so it's only to help our club have a better chance to succeed and Jerry's decisions to be correct. What is it like working with Jerry day in and day out? He's a good husband, he's a good dad, and he's a good man during life, and then he's a really good manager and a good baseball man. I learn from him on every step of the way. For all the latest Mets news, stats, highlights, and exclusive video, visit SNY.TV. Coming up on Mets Weekly, presented by Flat Rate Moving, we take a trip down memory lane to see how the Mets honored one of baseball's most prolific players. And I look at the kids over here, the way they are playing, and the way they are fighting for themselves, tells me one thing. Willie, say goodbye to America. He's the son of a former major leaguer, but he's making a name for himself with the Brooklyn Cyclones. You'll meet Corey Vaughn when we come back.